Welcome to the Strategies for Success Online Summit 2015. I am so, so excited. Let me introduce myself. I am your host, Gina Batty. To celebrate the launch of my new course, which is called Discover Your Direction, I decided to reach out to seven experts from around the world to have conversations about the things that keep you up at night. So listen, I'm not here to live by half measures, and I know that you don't want to either. For all you persistent, determined, strong, and confident women out there, I know you will resonate with this, and this summit is for you. Let's get straight to it. If you're unsure where you're heading and you're looking for guidance on how to figure that out, and if you want to figure out why you're here and your purpose in life, and you want to know how to wrap the things that you're passionate about around your vision and your purpose, and you want to get your hands on strategies to keep you focused and to feel fulfilled, this is where you need to be. Look at me. I used to be a UK size 16, which is a US size 12. I turned my life around by focusing on three areas. The first was mastering my body. The second was mastering my self-belief and my mindset. And the third was mastering my mission and purpose in life. As you can see, I've gone through quite a transformation, not only physically, but also mentally, emotionally and spiritually too. My work focuses around personal mastery, specifically focusing on those three areas, body mastery, self-belief mastery, and mission and purpose in life. I work with strong and confident women, where I'm a high-performance personal mastery coach, best-selling author, and one of the UK's leading public speakers. So what is personal mastery? Personal mastery is about being persistent in effort, and stubbornly tenacious in attitude. It's not about being perfect every day. As I said, it's about being persistent and stubbornly tenacious. It's about being focused and determined and believing in yourself and believing that anything that you dream about, you can make happen. I am so, so excited to bring you eight mastery experts from around the world and they will all be under your roof. I'm bringing to you strong and confident people who work every day to master themselves and their craft. They know to their very core that personal mastery isn't a one-time investment, a quick fix or a short-term goal. They know it is a lifelong investment. If you're truly working on personal mastery, is there ever a finishing line to that? My answer would be no, there's never a finishing line to it. There may be pauses where things are going great and you demonstrate that you're skillful at mastering situations and events in your life. If you go back and reflect on your life, even the most strong and confident people feel like they're, they're getting kicked in the gut and are challenged to get back up at certain points in time. And at those points, it requires new skills to master that moment, that new kind of moment that you're experiencing. In my experience, it takes a minimum of three months for you to be able to take something new, be it a new skill, a new technique or a new strategy, and to put it into place and start to see some changes. These new skills, techniques and strategies are exactly what we're going to tackle in my new course, Discover Your Direction. More about that later on. The aim of the summit is to pull back the curtains on personal mastery and explore life-changing teachings that will set you up for success. So who will you hear from? I am talking to Michelle Cameron Coulter, Olympic gold medalist, about discovering your passion. I'm talking to Glenn Morshower, one of the busiest character actors in Hollywood. We're talking about alignment and intuition. I'm talking to Sharon Lecter, the genius behind the Rich Dad brand and currently partnered with the Napoleon Hill Foundation. We're talking about vision and living a life of significance and success. I'm talking to Dr. Bill Dorfman, celebrity dentist and New York Times bestselling author. We're talking about goal setting, masterminding and leadership. I'm talking to Ros Savage, MBE, who holds four world records for ocean rowing and is the first woman to row solo across three oceans. We're talking about courage and collective consciousness. I'm talking to Eric Swanson, award-winning speaker and success coach about productivity and habits for success. And last but certainly not least, I'm talking to Dr. Joe Vitale, best-selling author of numerous books, law of attraction expert and featured in the movie The Secret. We're talking about overcoming procrastination. There's a special bonus for you too. To celebrate the launch of my new course, Discover Your Direction, I'll be hosting a live webinar. We'll be talking about discovering your direction and explore the key learnings from the summit. Be sure to check in with all the conversations. You will learn something from every single one, I promise you. 
It is my mission to invite people around the world to step into their power. I offer you that invitation now to step up and realize your full potential. I invite you into our world, into our lives, where you'll hear from eight mastery experts. What we have to share with you will start you on your journey to realizing your full potential. Ask yourself here and now, are you all in? If you are, let's go, let's do this. Dr. Bill Dorfman is most recognized as the featured dentist on ABC's hit show, Extreme Makeover, and the Emmy-winning daytime talk show, The Doctors. Now, for nearly 30 years, Dr. Bill has been making Hollywood smile with A-list patients that include Usher, The Osbournes, Jessica Simpson, Sir Anthony Hopkins, Hugh Jackman, Britney Spears, and many, many others. But listen, his real passion is giving back. Dr. Dorfman co-founded the nonprofit Leap Foundation, a week-long educational and motivational leadership program to give students the tools that they need to succeed. Now, in its sixth year, and with nearly half of all students attending on scholarship, which is just incredible, Dr. Dorfman has helped students gain a head start in life through seminars, workshops, motivational speakers, and mentor roundtables that teach them everything from business etiquette and time management through to first impressions and how to ace the interview. Dubbed America's Dentist, Dr. Bill authored the New York Times bestseller, Billion Dollar Smile. He is nationally and internationally sought after as a regular expert, and he's appeared on Oprah, Larry King Live, The, the View, Good Morning America, and many, many more. Dr. Bill, it is such a pleasure to have you here with us. Welcome. Thank you, Tina. Thanks. <laughs> Welcome. So, listen, I would love to talk to you about leadership and goal setting for success, which I know is a fundamental part to your LEAP program. And we'll talk about the LEAP program in just a few moments. But before we delve into that, tell us a little bit about your backstory. I'd love to hear about you. Well, I mean... <clears throat> Which part of it? Because there are so many different parts. That's a good question. Let's go through the bit that you think has had the most steering on your life to this day. The part that what? That's, that's had the most steer on your life. So the, the most influential. Okay, okay. Um, well, I mean, <clears throat> I guess my story is kind of pretty simple i mean grew up in a very very modest um <clears throat> area uh, area off of la called the valley so i'm actually technically a valley boy uh <clears throat> went to is that school. a good thing uh, i hope <laughs> <You can find laughs> um i went to a granada hills high school and then uh I went to college at ucla i went to dental school in san francisco at university of the pacific after that, I did a two-year residency in Switzerland, came back, started practicing dentistry. Wow. Um, around 1990, I thought, you know, <clears throat> there has to be a better way to whiten teeth. And so my partner in business, Robert Heyman, and I started a company called Discus Dental, which became the largest manufacturer of tooth whitening products in the world. We did Zoom, wow. the conference call line that we're talking about. No. Um, <laughs> We did night white and day white, and um, that just kind of built and built. And then um, in 2003, ABC gave me a huge opportunity to be on Extreme Makeover. So I started doing that TV show. From that, I went into The Doctors, and now um, we just filmed The Dr. Bill Show. Um, I'm also um, working on The Steve Harvey Show. Uh, I've been on The View and Oprah and all these other things. So... Um, but my real passion is in working with kids. And so we started a nonprofit called Leap. And the program started actually 10 years ago. Uh, we're doing oh, wow. our Leap conference this year. We have about 500 kids all over, come from all over the world. 60% of them come on scholarships. So they apply for scholarships and get those. And um, we basically teach kids 
skills they need to be successful in life that you don't learn in school. We teach them networking. We teach them interviewing skills, how to write a resume, how to interview for a job, how to um, really be successful. And we line them up with mentors. We get like a hundred mentors that come to the program on Friday and they just sit at a table and it's like speed dating. You just sit there <laughs> talking, 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 and then every 30 minutes we rotate. But the objective is to really show these young students what is successful and how to become successful. And how did they respond to that program? Very well. They become successful. <laughs> Good I mean, answer. Good answer. It, it works. I mean, you know, it, it's a very tenuous age mm. for young people. And, you know, they come into this program and a lot of them, you know, are lost. They don't have good role models. They don't have good friends, you know, and, um, you know, they end up leaving the program really, you know, inspired and motivated. And um, it, it's pretty phenomenal. You know, it, it's the old saying, you know, do you give them the fish or do you give them the fishing pole? And, um, you know, we give them the fishing pole and, uh, you know, it, you just see them come to life. In fact, I just realized that we're sitting here in the dark. <laughs> better. There we go. Hey, now I can see you. Woo. <laughs> you didn't say anything before. That, uh, to be honest, my screen's so dimmed because of the reflection on my glasses that it all looks dark anyway. <laughs> well, does, does it look better? Actually, yes, it does. It does. It's made a big difference. So welcome again. <laughs> so I'm, I'm totally fascinated by, by the whole LEAP, um, the foundation and the program, naturally. And I think you hit upon something really fundamental there. Everything that you talk about in your program isn't something that we're taught at school. So when we go into adulthood, so many people don't have those core skills, you know, that you're teaching those youngsters. I find that fascinating. I mean, well, one of our, the biggest things, I mean, when we say this over and over again is why create mediocrity when you can copy genius. Mm -hmm. And so basically I bring in these incredibly successful people. Many of them came from nothing. So I can show these students what their road to success was. And, you know, students come up to me all the time. They're like, Dr. Bill, Dr. Bill, what's the secret of success? It, it's like they want a pill, like limitless. Yeah. And I'm like, well, you're a doctor, so. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like this is going to be a real shocker. Work hard. <laughs> like, Absolutely. Let me, the millenn for all you millennials out there, I don't get your generation. It, it's like. You have all these new rules. It's still the same thing. Work hard. That works. Every time, work hard. And you, you honestly, working hard is, is the one message that they don't want to hear as oh well. My gosh. I have a friend that just hired this young 25-year-old woman, right? She came in. She worked one day. At the end of the day, he goes, well, how do you think it went, Melissa? She goes, I think I should get a raise. He's like, <laughs> you've been here eight hours. <laughs> she goes, I know, but look at what a good job I did. <laughs> Unbelievable. 10 out of 10 for confidence. I mean, yeah. did she negotiate, though? No. <laughs> It'd have been impressive if she negotiated that. Unbelievable. So tell me, I'd love to know what you're doing with the students that we can implement as adults. So let's talk through leadership for a couple of moments. What are your general thoughts on leadership? You know, I mean, it's funny. When you, when you talk about leadership, leadership and success are not necessarily parallel. So, you know, I mean, there are very very prominent leaders that aren't all that successful. They may be successful at being leaders. So how do you define success? You know, and one of the things that I read this last year, and I love this, I actually have it on my phone and, um, you know, and, 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 you know, we do have a lot of leaders that come to the program 
And, you know, I said, I would really like to see you focus on this because to me, this says everything. True leaders don't create followers. They create more leaders. Ooh. So really me, <laughs> if you want to know, to me, what leadership is, mm -hmm. leadership is leading great young people and teaching them to create more leaders, not followers, and to be leaders. And, you know, one of the things that we do that I think really empowers these students is when they come to the program, we put them in a group with 10 students. Okay. Right? And they're with that group all the time. But the thing that I think makes this program so powerful is when they leave the program, we encourage them to form what we call a mastermind group with these 10 students and just meet every month for an hour and make sure that you know they still are on track. We literally make the students leave with written down goals of what they want to do in the upcoming year. And we try and keep them you know, true to those goals and to really continue doing them. So I think a big part of leadership is really, you know, kind of sitting down, setting goals, setting a path, and then actually executing that and bringing others along with you. That is a leader, you know? So to me, that that's probably one of the biggest benefits of going to LEAP is learning these skills, implementing them, but having the group support to help you really excel. And the group support does exactly that. It, it, you know, it really pushes you to achieve those goals and to support you going forward, doesn't it? And I'm guessing that's why you do all the mentor roundtable and obviously encourage them to do the mastermind too. Right. I mean, you know, they say you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And I really believe that. As a parent, I have three young daughters. If you want to know what kind of children you're raising, look at their friends. Mm. You know, if your child is friends with loaders and stonies and people that are doing drugs and getting high and dr drunk all the time, I, I have bad news for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good <laughs> out of that environment they need to find new friends you know so i mean that's a really important thing who you surround yourself with we call it a turkey hunt i tell the kids i want you to sit down put all your friends on a grid some are eagles they're great and some are turkeys and you need to shoot the turkeys and just get them out of your life and for a lot of kids that's a big big turning point is realizing you know what He's not a good person for me to hang around, you know? And it's interesting because that, that is something that adults could do, but they don't tend to because they get, it's almost like they feel like they're loyal to that person and they have to stay with those people, even if they are pulling them down. So right. when you think about how that translates into, you know, adulthood and um, the people that you surround yourself with, it's equally as important, but people put less of a... Um, an emphasis on it. Agreed, agreed. So if somebody wanted to develop their leadership skills, what strategies would you suggest they experiment with? Well, I mean, developing leadership skills, what's the purpose? I mean, you know, when you talk about, you know, being a leader, you know, what's the goal? I mean, do you want to have people following you? Do you want to create more leaders? Do you, I mean, what do you want to do? I think for a lot of my followers, it's more about leading themselves. So it's about having um, an internal, uh, how can I put it? Like an internal driver to lead their life so they can reach their full potential. Well, so I wouldn't really call that leadership skills because to me, leadership is really not an internal thing. It's more of something that you're exuding to others. I would say success, you know, to me, success. And, and I'll tell you the two biggest things that I would like students to leave leap with are these. Number one, don't wait for opportunities. Make them. All of the biggest things that happened in my life didn't just happen, you know. I 
went out and proactively made those things happen. Mm. And there are a lot of really great, great ideas that just die when people die because they never did them. Mm. You know? So you need to stop waiting and just go do. And the second thing is when you are, you know, actually, you know, given an opportunity, don't take it. Master it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Very big difference. Big difference. I e. So I was a little boy who dreamt of being a dentist. I wanted to be a dentist more than anything. My whole life, that was my goal. That was my path. It, it never wavered. You know, I become a dentist. I start this company. We start making product, and then. I have this amazing opportunity to be on TV and actually show the product and show people what cosmetic dentistry can do for them. Now, I could have taken that opportunity. I didn't. What I did was I buckled down and I said, okay, I'm going to take acting classes, hosting classes, TV, you know, I mean, all these things that a dentist never does, but I had an opportunity and I realized if I could be better on TV, it will give us a bigger effect in sales and marketing and all these things. So I would be stupid to not take that opportunity and make the most of it. So like I said, don't take opportunities, master them. And that's what I really attempted to do was to learn how to be the best TV dentist I could be, which is not what I had ever been trained to do. Absolutely. Wow. That is, that is a really powerful illustration of how you took that and you mastered it. And Thank made it that. into a multi-million dollar investment. Wow. I mean, it was, I mean, we literally doubled and then tripled the size of our company because of that opportunity and then eventually sold that company in Philip, to Philips, Royal Dutch Philips in 2010. And in fact, it was so ironic that this happened then because one of the things I always tell kids at LEAP is to strive and be a 10. You know, don't settle for being a nine or an eight. I said, when you wake up every morning, whether you think you did this or not, you put a number on your head. One's the lowest, 10's the highest. And I always say, what number did you put? And for those of you who didn't put a 10, I ask, who picked the number? <laughs> so if you have the ability to pick the number, why wouldn't you pick a 10? Pick a 10, be a 10, act like a 10, and surround yourself with other people that are 10s. So with all this, we call it 10 talk. The crazy thing is, I literally sold my company on 10, 10, 10. October 10th, no way. 2010, at 10 a.m. No way, wow. I promise, the merger documents came in at 9.30, and just being anal compulsive, I signed, <laughs> put it on top of my scanner, scanned it, and mailed it at exactly 10. Now, my friend said, you could have waited till 10.10. I guess I'm not that anal compulsive. <laughs> Had you have been, you would have. <laughs> exactly. Wow, you know, the, all of those strategies are so powerful. I can, I, as you were saying all of those, I'm thinking of all the young people that I know and thinking, you know, if, if more young people knew this stuff, it would make such a big difference. Well, I have great news for you. Yay, young tell people. us. <laughs> if you are 15 to 24, yep. and you can come to UCLA July 24th to July 30th, you okay. can come to our LEAP program. Keep it there for a minute, keep it there. Give you and the website is right there. Go to www.leapfoundation.com and you can get all the information. And one of the things that we do with Leap is kind of like what they do with that Southwest Airlines the earlier you buy your ticket, the less expensive it is. So every month the price goes up. Okay, so if you're serious about going, go now, go to the website, sign up. And I promise you, it'll be an experience that your kids will never, ever forget. And, and I'm not going to lie. There are kids that come to this program kicking and screaming. Like, they don't want to be there. And it's like they're only there because their parents made them come. 
By day two, they're calling their parents saying, Mom, Dad, thanks. This is amazing. I'm staying over. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it really, it's really, really phenomenal. I mean, in all the years we've done this, I've never had a kid walk out of this program and say, oh, I wish I didn't come. I mean, they love it. In fact, most kids will say this was the best week of their summer. And a lot of them will say it's the best week of my life. Crikey. You know you've made an impact when that happens, don't you? Wow. Yeah, crikey indeed. <laughs> they need to go on our website and look at We have the most amazing speakers. And, you know, it, they're going to meet great kids that will help bring them up instead of bringing them down. There are also tens. Definitely. Wow. So I'll post that link and some more details below the video, including your social media uh, and how, how people can get hold of you. So Thank that will be on the bottom. So if anybody is interested, and I highly recommend that you are interested, go and have a look, check out the details, and obviously be in touch with Dr. Bill. So let's move on to goal setting. If you've never set goals before, how do you do it? Well, your first goal should be to set goals. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you know, one of the things I tell kids is I live by this acronym, WIN. And WIN stands for what's important now. Okay. And every morning when I wake up, the first thing I say to myself is what's important now. And I just go through my head. And goal setting can be as easy as that. Just literally on a daily basis, waking up and saying, what do I need to do today? What are the important things I need to do today to make myself more prepared for today and for tomorrow? And there will be times in your life when you could just sit back, really reflect in a very quiet way, mm. and write down the goals that you want to attain, short term and long term, and then the things you need to do to make those goals happen. And that's where most people fail is they don't do the second part. It's like, I want to be a millionaire. Okay. Well, if you sit on the couch eating bonbons and watching soap operas all day, guess what? It's not going to happen. It's never going to happen. <laughs> right? But people don't make that connection. I don't get it. You know, work hard. You know, do what you do so well that people can't resist telling other people about you. Absolutely, absolutely. What would you say is one of the key ways that you can stay focused on achieving those goals once you've set them? I think one of the things that's helped me more than anything else in my life is being in a mastermind group. Mm -hmm. Really creating a group of 10 individuals, six to 10 individuals, meeting on a monthly basis and talking about all of your, what we do is you start off by every person goes around the room and you talk about your highs and lows for the month. What, you know, what were your highs? What were your lows? And then, you know, things that you need help with, ask, simply ask. Because if you have a good group of support and friends, you know, they'll come up with things that you maybe never thought of. Mm. The power of the mastermind is is delving into other people's perspectives and gaining other ideas, isn't it? And I think I've been in many masterminds throughout my, my whole life pretty much, and the impact of them is far-reaching. It really is. But I think the thing that makes it most powerful is to have a sustainable one where you're literally meeting on a monthly basis with Definitely. people that you really admire and respect who have your back. It's like your own personal board of directors on life which is a fabulous concept. How would you say that you would find those people who attends to get on that mastermind with you? So I'm starting a new one right now, actually. So there are three men who I'm very good friends with and one woman who I really admire, who are great business people. And we've been kind of talking about this. So I think what we're going to do is the four of us are going to each invite one other friend and then we'll form a group of eight. We'll have a dinner. We'll just make sure that everybody, you know, clicks well. And then we'll start a, a, a formal mastermind. And, you know, I actually have an outline for how to do a mastermind group that I use for LEAP. And if you can talk to Candice and coordinate that with her, sure. we can make that available to your listeners. Oh, that would be fabulous. I know loads of people will get so much benefit from, from having – 
you know, some ideas of how to set that up. So thank you. I think, I'll be in touch. I think boatloads of people. <laughs> boatloads. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Was that a UK accent coming out there? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> so listen, I will be in touch with Candice and we'll get the Perfect. link down on the bits below the, the screen. Perfect. Perfect. And also put the website, which is yeah. I'm just about to read All it, www.leapfoundation.com. That will be below too, so you can click on that. Also, ways to get in touch with Dr. Bill will be on there. So Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, I believe, as well. Awesome. And follow me on, on Twitter, Dr. Bill D. Oh, no, it's Dr. Bill Dorfman. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's Dr. Bill Dorfman. Brilliant. And I'll put the links below so everybody's got Thank hold of those. You. So to finish off, one last question. What message would you like to leave people with about leadership and goal setting all around success? I'm going to copy Nike. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. Thank you so much, Dr. Bill. It's such a pleasure right. and an honor to speak to you. And it was so great meeting you. We should do this more often. We should. It is such great fun. Thank you so I much. Know. It's so fun. <laughs> Let's high five. Can we do high five? Yes. Yay. <laughs> All right. Have a awesome. good Awesome. You too. Enjoy. Thank you so right. much. Bye bye. Now. Hi, it's Gina, checking in with you. I hope you not only enjoyed that conversation that we just had, but it also got you thinking about your life and the direction it is heading. The biggest stumbling block that I see over and over and over again is that people aren't clear on where they're heading. They don't know what it is that they want, and they get that feeling of, is there more to life than this? Without a clear direction, you will feel unfocused, overwhelmed, and out of control. I know, because I've been there. Here's what I know about people. The odds say that most people will do the same thing next year as they did this year. If you're ready to have 2016 be different than 2015, what's holding you back? From my experience, it is you. You're the only thing holding yourself back, be it consciously or subconsciously. So let's talk about how we can work together. I work with determined, strong, persistent and confident women to gain clarity on their vision and their purpose and to define the direction. Here are the benefits that I think you will take away when we work together. The Discover Your Direction course is six sessions over three months. We're going to meet every two weeks because in my experience it takes a minimum of three months for you to be able to take something new and begin to put it into place and to start to see some changes. When we work together, I will take you through a formula to define what it is that you want in your business and in your life. We'll delve into mastering those situations that knock you off your feet and off your path. We'll explore being more skillful at handling difficult situations. We'll gain clarity on your vision and where you're heading, as well as starting to uncover your purpose. And then we will create a toolkit for you to ensure that you're focused, you're productive, and you're taking steps to achieve what it is that you want. In those six sessions, I have a formula that we're going to follow. But listen, these are your calls. And so if we break that formula, because that's where you need to go, then that's what we're going to do. And someplace around session four, we're going to start to assess how you're feeling and what's going on and to look at the changes that you're sensing, if not the changes that you've already begun to put into place. And we're going to talk about that a little bit in session four and session five, and certainly in session six. And if at the end of six sessions, you don't even see a little glimmer of light, despite your best effort and the work that you've put in, I will give you your money back. So the worst thing that can happen is you spend a few hours with me and nothing changes. The best thing that happens is we spend a few hours together and you're on your way to where you wanna go. If we could work together and put you on the path to the outcome that you're looking for, which is to have a stronger purpose in your life, to understand where you're going, and to have a plan to get you there, if we can do that in six sessions to put you on the road, are you ready to begin to do that? If you are, click the link in the box below to apply for the Discover Your Direction course. Go ahead, check it out. The link's there in the box, Discover Your Direction course. Apply now and I look forward to working with you. Bye for now.